On October 23, 2022, the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials Board of Directors unanimously elected Roger Millar, Secretary of the Washington State DOT, AASHTO President for 2022-2023. I've always been a, a servant leader, and this is just an incredible opportunity to serve the DOT community. Uh, my colleagues, uh, you know, they're like family. It's, it's going to be great. President Millar is an experienced land use planner and transportation engineer with an international reputation for his innovative approaches to conservation and development. As president, Millar says his key emphasis area is transportation system resilience. To that end, three fundamental principles underpin his resilience vision. My whole emphasis is a resilient transportation system. We need to have transportation systems in the United States that are planned for and able to adapt to whatever gets thrown at us. Millar says a resilient transportation system is safe. So on the safe side of things, when you look at the combined budgets of all of the state DOTs, it's about $200 billion a year. Crashes on our system cost the country $1.14 trillion a year. We need to be all in for safety. And it's not a question of is safe systems design the approach or should it be complete streets or should we be automating vehicles or should we be, we should be doing all of that to reduce the, the tragedies and reduce the economic consequences of the crashes that happen on our system. And Millar says a resilient transportation system is sound. In Washington state, as, as well funded as we are, we have about half of the funding that we need to maintain our facilities in a state of good repair. So the sound part of that is good asset management and using asset management to tell the story of what the system needs because our nation's economy, Washington State's economy, it doesn't run on the infrastructure we wish we had. It runs on the infrastructure that exists today and we take that infrastructure for granted and we can no longer do that. And lastly, Millar says a resilient transportation system is smart. Being smart in terms of operating our system to get the most out of it, in terms of managing demand for our system, and in terms of partnering with other entities to better understand and optimize the relationship between land use and transportation. Our facilities and the investments we make have profound implications on development patterns, and development patterns have profound implications on highway investment needs. We need to work, again, in partnership with cities, with counties, with developers, with other professionals on optimizing that relationship to reduce costs, to enhance safety, to in in improve the environment, to give people the choices they want about how they get around. President Millar's ideas about infrastructure began taking shape at an early age. His father, who served in the Army Corps of Engineers, traveled with his family to bases around the world. Millar graduated from Stuttgart American High School in Stuttgart, Germany. He then earned an engineering degree from the University of Virginia and moved to Portland, Oregon, where he went to work for the City Transportation Department. He worked as a consultant for 15 years before returning to the public sector. Then I worked for Smart Growth America as a vice president for technical assistance. And in that role, one of the projects I managed was the National Complete Streets Coalition. Uh, another project I managed was called the Innovative DOT. We put together a handbook of practice for DOT CEOs. And then I was managing projects with DOTs around the country, which led to Washington State DOT offering me a job as deputy secretary and a couple months later as secretary. In addition to his role as AASHTO president, Millar is a fellow of the American Society of Civil Engineers and a fellow of the American Institute of Certified Planners. He is a former chair of the Intelligent Transportation Society of America Board of Directors, is president of ASCE Transportation and Development Institute, and is a member of the National Operations Center of Excellence Strategic Advisory Council and the National Complete Streets Coalition Steering Committee. In addition to those distinguished titles, Roger is also husband to Candy Millar, father to two adult children 
and a chocolate Labrador retriever named Lou. Looking ahead, past what will be a busy year as Ashto president, Millar says he hopes his legacy will be that he was an agent for change. You know, I hope I'm a good messenger for the organization. I, I hope that we instill some of those emphasis area ideas into the work that our committees and councils do. Um, I hope some of the success that we've had at Washington State, you know, is, is replicated elsewhere. I hope to learn from others' successes around the country and, and tell that story. But, you know, my goal for the, the time that I'm in the role is to be the best representative of the 21st century DOT that I, that I can possibly be. Roger Millar, Washington State Secretary of Transportation, husband, father, dog lover, and Ashto president for 2022-2023.